100.9 The Creek, Real Music, Real Radio. Creekside Mornings, Tony Doolin, Charles Davis. It is Monday. It is uh, that time, mm-hmm. Charles. So it let's is. Let's go ahead and play this. Let's go. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. Go. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. 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 Alex Von Coito. I love that part. Did yeah. You, did you miss that in Mexico? No. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. By the way, he has his own intro, Stefan. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Alex demands yeah. his own intro. Demands. Alex Von Coitel from the Making Mayhem. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Did you miss me last week? Yeah. How was uh, Mexico? Uh, it was rainy. Rainy, really? The entire week. Yeah. I asked him what he'd rather take, the rain or the bitter cold we had last week. Which one? He said the rain. I took the rain. Oh, really? I took the rain. Yeah. So. Well, did uh, Ashley help you with the Espanol? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. After four years of Spanish, not help. Well, you know. Not helpful. Lo siento. No, 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 none. (laughs) They probably could have used you, Alex. I'm just saying. Yeah, we could have used you, Alex. Um, Let's talk about Friday night. I was not here for Friday's game. Uh Uh, But it was the first whitey tidy night. Yes. And you said it went really well. It did, yeah. Um, And just knowing that it was all for a great cause, that made it that much better. You know, Um, I think the number that I was given was just over 1,200 articles of clothing. That's awesome. So, yes. All benefiting Daybreak. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Project Paul. And I think, you know, we saw scarves, gloves, uh, undies, socks, you name it. So it was great. Very good. To Anthony see. was the in game host. Did you mm-hmm. uh, tell him that he couldn't take his underwear off and throw them on the ice? Because I know he wanted to. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't remind him of that. So any yeah. opportunity for Anthony to go commando and he'll take it. <laughs> he'll do it. That's I a mean, true story, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear any horror stories about uh, anything with, with, you know, skid marks on them. Good. Or like that. Good. So, All right. Well, that's yeah. good. <laughs> Way to show out, Macon. Way to go. Nice job. (laughs) Well, I was here for Saturday night Mm -hmm. as we uh, took on the Birmingham Bulls. It was a good game. Um, We ended up with, uh, you know, not getting the win, but a really well-played game Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, You know, I think we just kind of got the the bad end of the stick a few times on some puck bounces and just weren't getting the breaks. But, um, you know, again, the team came out to play and really fought hard from start to finish. It's just a matter of time, I think, before we start getting some wins. Let's talk about, before we get into uh, Friday and Saturday's game, let's talk about rosters uh, because there have been some changes. Intima is back Mm -hmm. in goalie. Uh, He was uh, borrowed for a little while. Yes. But we got him back. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, uh, Divine is off of his injured reserve okay. and was playing Saturday night, which was good to see. Yep. Um, he's, he's wearing I, that bubble now to protect his face. Okay. Well, I tried to look. Right. I didn't want to look too close to see, you know, what what kind of damage was done. I didn't want to be that guy. Uh-huh. Uh, but I didn't notice anything. Yeah. Um, it, he took it, a stick to the face uh-huh. a few weeks ago. Yeah. They did a good job with the surgery. It didn't take too long either for him to recover. That's and, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, no, Renee Hunter sure. is – how did they status – What's his status? How do they qualify that? What do they call it? Officially, it's on team suspension. But yeah. um, but he yeah. wasn't suspended for anything. Right. He he was homesick. He wanted to go back to, you know, it, it's understandable. Huge culture shock for yeah. him coming Truth. from yeah. um, essentially the land of, you know, I guess what we call Eskimos yeah. up there. So, um, you know, he missed his family and uh, Macon, Georgia is just a very different place for from him. From where and, he's from, of course. Yeah, so... He just wanted to go back home, and and Leo told him, "Look, if you change your mind, if you know if your opinion changes, we've got a spot here." And so that was the reason back. of putting him so, on suspension. Okay. So yeah, he because he back. just he didn't want to just lose him. If yeah, of right, course, right, exactly. So, yep. All right, well, let's talk about Friday and Saturday night. Uh, Friday night, both these games are taking on Evansville. Puck drop seven thirty on Friday for Country Night, and then uh, Mossy Oak Night yeah. on Saturday, which will be the first uh, post game auction. For jerseys. That's right. And the camo jerseys always sell well. Yes, we're going to do an official reveal on Mayhem social media either late tonight or early tomorrow morning on what those jerseys look like. I think they're looking really sharp. We're excited to reveal them. I think it's going to, they are going to go well. I'm I'm sure they're going to sell well on Saturday night. People are going to like them. I want to go back. You guys always do really well with the uh, jersey auctions. Mm -hmm. Um, So looking forward to that. But I want to go back to this text. That you sent me on Sunday, oh boy. last Sunday, <laughs> um, you said so. You're you're not going to be at the station tomorrow, right? Anyone in particular you want me to bring? Uh-huh. I said I don't care about tomorrow because I'm in Mexico. Yeah, so you show just how much he cares about when I'm here hosting the show. But that's fine. <laughs> Next Monday, I want Timofeyev. 
That's right. And I delivered. And you delivered. Good morning, I sir. I can't believe you agreed to Good morning. Good morning. Stepan Timofeyev, um, I'm going to guess from, from your accent, you're not from Georgia. No. No. Where are you, <laughs> no. Where are you from? I'm from uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. Now, I will say this. Um, if, you, if you see Stepan out on the street, God, don't shove him. Do not shove him. He will. He because will. Because he will climb on you like a spider monkey. Oh, and then it's done. You're over with. Damn. It's been a lot of fun to watch play so far this year, man. We've we've really enjoyed watching you play. You're 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 an aggressive player. Thank you. What? <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm gonna he tell said, you. I'm gonna own that. Somebody, like at like when Ashley and then were gone last week, she was sent me a text about you know the thing she wanted to say about the way um you guys played and um one of the things she said was and and Timofeyev is now my new favorite expletive hockey player yeah um yeah it's true yeah it's my like, wife tends like, to like uh shall we say pugilist yeah you know ones that know <laughs> you know how to get things done and you know how to get things yeah, done sir. on the ice uh-huh. what is your official position on the mayhem what what position do you play i'm uh right wing oh, yes. most of the time yeah um that's it just go on the net get a puck dip when did you off. start playing hockey uh I think when I was three, close to four, first jump on the ice. So your uh, your stroller as a child had had ice had skates to. on it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <Had> to. <laughs> where uh, where have you played before coming to Macon? I played last year in the Federal Hockey League in Almira Enforcers. Uh, it was a brand new team. We were struggling in the beginning, lost a few games, more than here. Like seven, eight games in a row, mm. and ended up in the finals. Wow! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> then uh, I played in Port Huron Prowlers. Uh, I came late, and we have a uh, winning streak, twenty-four games in a row. Wow! Beat the record, and lost the final. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna ding the bell for that anyway. I mean, yeah, the 24 in a row. You ring the bell for that. Anyway. You know, the heartbreak of losing the final. Are you uh, Are you enjoying your time in Macon so far? Yeah, it's warm. It's nice. It is warm. <laughs> yes, it is. Look, you ain't you ain't lying about that, bro. For, mean, the, you know, for uh, the record, there's still a little bit of a get used to the climate period. For instance, Charles is wearing a T-shirt because am, right. he's used to this. This right. is still we're still good with this. You're wearing a uh, a parka. <laughs> it's a good jacket, sir. I like it. I like it a lot. But he's yeah, wearing a puffy coat. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, I wore a pea coat last week. It's okay. <laughs> he did. Yeah, yeah it was freezing. It was a little chilly last week. I missed that, but it was rainy in uh, Mexico. Uh, so, so. Well, that? man, uh, really yeah. seriously, enjoyed watching you play this year. Uh, looking forward to what you uh, continue to do with the mayhem. And Alex was telling me you you scored the goal that started the tidy whitey toss. Yeah. That's got to be exciting. <laughs> I mean, will you look, I scored a goal like throw underwear at like me. literally like <laughs> like how was that when you look up and all of these just just uh, just underwear are being thrown on the ice like <laughs> That was pretty cool. I didn't know about it. Yeah. See, okay. So, did you yeah. think did you think we were going to do that every time you scored? <laughs> no. I, I, I was just Where are the underwear? Oh, no. Where's that? <laughs> Talking to your family back home, it was crazy. I scored a goal and they threw panties at me. It was amazing. Well, what's, what's nuts is Welcome that, to Macon, is all I'll say. What's nuts is that he got another goal 29 seconds into the second period. So I was thinking, okay, he might get a hat trick. And then if he gets a hat trick, there's what are we going to throw now? Yeah. Hats so right, we're all yeah. out of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we threw them all in the uh, first goal. We got yeah, nothing. We got here. nothing now, man. So uh, I do want to ask this because there is a discrepancy on the roster. Your last name is spelled T I M. O F E Y E V on your jersey, this. it's T I M O F E E V. Did the Y just not fit? Did they misspell it? What happened? Uh, it's for uh, you know, we can say I'm spy or something, but no, <laughs> 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 it's just spelling. Yeah. Love you. Stick with so that much. one. We're gonna stick with that. We're gonna oh, yeah. go with that first. Yeah, just have to change it. You know, He's just a like, spy. He's a spy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, probably makes it a little, a little easier for the uh, fans to pronounce <laughs> without yeah. that Y in there. Just a bit, I guess. Just throw that in there. Well, Stefan, good to meet you, yeah, and uh, good luck on the rest of the season. Yes, and uh, I'm you. sure you'll be back at some point for another yeah. one of these interviews. <laughs> Alex, Thank you. reasonably good to see you as usual. Wow, Alex, it's always good to see you, buddy. <laughs> he always makes us play this twice, Twice. By the way, well, Stephon. Von Coito, the voice. I like it. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. Not voice. just once, From but Alex twice. Von Coito, the voice. I'm telling you, voice, this is how you should come out voice, to the line voice, change. You know, voice, lights voice, and everything voice, flash. Voice, yeah. Voice, Smoke rising. You guys going to provide the way? I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right. Friday and Saturday night, Centerplex. Puck drop Friday, 730. Saturday, 
7 o'clock. Here's J.J. Gray, Mofro on the Creek.